This is News Talk 880 KJJR. Welcome to Saturday and welcome to Focus on the Flathead. I'm Ross Strauser along with Reed Trontel. Reed, happy weekend. Thank you, Ross. How was your Valentine's Day? Um, I don't like Valentine's Day. <laughs> really? <laughs> I love Valentine's Day. In the studio, for the very first time, we have a very special guest with us, Dr. Tra- uh, Chad Catron. Do I have that right, Chad? Yep, pretty close. Catron from Glacier Grins Pediatric Dentistry, 155 Hutton Ranch Road, Kalispell. Welcome. Thanks. I want to learn all about your brand new business. You started this just very recently. When did you get started? Yeah, we opened the doors just after Thanksgiving. Uh, we've been open for about two and a half months now. Well, congratulations. Thanks. So uh, tell us, before we get into the, the meat and potatoes of uh, the pediatric dentistry industry, tell us a bit about yourself. Well, I grew up here in the Flathead. Um, my family and I moved here when I was a sophomore in high school. Um, you know, all through high school, I wrestled, uh, made some friends, and really came to love the Flathead. Uh, my wife is from, born and raised in Creston, and she's been here her whole life. So we, you know, I used to build houses. That's what I wanted to do for a long time. Did that for about eight or nine years and then, you know, decided to make a change. We, um, <clears throat> once we decided to make that change, I went to school at FECC for a year, went down to Missoula at the University of Montana, and then got accepted into the dental program in Minnesota and was there for four years. Um, because I was a little bit older, I was 29 when I started my, my college years, um, I just wanted to get done, get out, and get back to family life. And... During this, I, I did our pediatric resident, our program there, and we worked with the kids for about two months, and I just fell in love with it. And then after that, I decided to try and specialize, and I got accepted into a program in Missouri. So we did that for two years, just finished, um, and we're lucky enough to come back home, and then we opened the practice. And you have a wife and three children. We have three kids. What are their we, ages? What are their names? We've got to get that yeah, out on the radio. Yeah, they'll love that. What is um, it? We have Caleb. He's 15, and he just started at uh, Flathead High School here. Just started driver's dead the other day, so you might want to watch the roads. <laughs> you see, you might see him out there. Um, a lot of Saturdays, so just keep your eyes open. Um, we have a daughter, two daughters. One is thirteen, going to summers middle school right now, and then we have our youngest is nine. It's Gwyn, and she's at Montessori currently. So there's, all, I mean, there's a plethora of reasons why you would open a practice here in Kalispell. It's your hometown. It is. But also, uh, there's so much to do. And, and reading about you a little bit, you love the outdoors. That's oh, kind of yeah. your thing when you're not working. Yeah. I, my, my idea of a perfect day would be out on the lake, barbecue, doing a little swimming, boating, some wakeboarding, something like that. I bet the kids love that. They do, yeah. Okay, so do you now you split your time between Kalispell and Great Falls. I do right now, yep. How does that work out? So it, it's, it, it works out for long weeks um, <laughs> and lots of driving, but we, we're open Mondays. Uh, I work and then drive to Great Falls Monday night, work Tuesday, Wednesday there, and then Wednesday night drive home. Then we, we're off, our office is open again on Thursday, Friday. Um, we'll be doing that until our office gets busier and we pick up more days and then I'll be here full time. Okay, so now we've opened in Hutton Ranch Plaza. Yep. Uh, whereabouts? Where can we find you? So we're, we're located right in between Sportsman and Walmart. Um, if you're familiar with Panda Express, we're right across the street from there. And it's a little, it's a standalone building right there. Um, AAA is right across the, the parking lot as well. Oh, you're right up there with all the good food places. Uh, yeah, there's lots of good food places. <laughs> I, I joke and tease my wife that... She, you know, she'll call, find out where I'm at, and I'll be at Who Hot or the movie theater or Dickie's Barbecue. So we're yeah. gaining some weight. Well, let's talk about the office and uh, the practice a little bit. It's pediatric dentistry. Now, how new is pediatric dentistry? It's specialized, basically specialized dentistry for children. How new is that? It's, you know, it's been around for quite a while. It's just depends on the area if there's a pediatric dentist around um, in certain areas where there isn't. That falls on the general dentist that see adults and kids as well. Um, pediatric dentistry is one because you're just seeing kids. You do need at least a you know a certain size population to to be able to make you know make a business of it. So when I was a kid, I was deathly afraid to go to the dentist, and now it seems like you know my kids went to a pediatric dentist, and it, it, they they looked forward to going. I thought, what's with my kids? They're not like me. I was scared of the dentist probably because he was an old man with really outdated equipment. Uh-huh. And, <laughs> but now it's kind of fun to go to the yeah, dentist. You yeah. make it, what do you do to make that uh, you know, the experience a little easier on the kids and the parents? Because this can be a little traumatic on yeah, parents as well. For sure. It, we're definitely trying to change the way dentistry is looked at, especially for kids. Um, 
you know, we took that into consideration and tried to make the office fun, look fun, non-threatening, not too stimulating, but but still entertaining. We have TVs, we have toys for kids of all ages, and then we design those play areas so that they can they can relax there, um, and so you know things feel normal, things feel fun, and then at the same time, I think a big difference is you know as pediatric dentists we we're used to seeing kids all day. When something doesn't go right, that's okay. We can be flexible. Um, we come at things from a different angle, and then you know I'm willing to step back and, and work. Every kid's just a little different. And so by by remembering that, you know, you can you can change things up, and it's really not a big deal. You can still get the job done. Well, coming up in just a couple of minutes, uh, we're going to find out what the difference is between pediatric dentistry and you know normal uh, dentistry. Also, when to start brushing teeth with the babies and sure. uh, all those kind of fun things. Coming up in just a few minutes, this is Focus on the Flathead. Ross Strauser, Reed Trontel, and Reed. We want to know, uh, too, where we can, can we get these podcasts? Sure. We are at uh, BeatBroadcasting.com. We're at Beat Broadcasting YouTube channel, KidJR.com. We are at BeatPodcast.com. We're all over the place. And we'll be back in just a moment right here on Focus on the Flathead. Qualifications and rules apply. See institution for details. If our lives are getting so much better, why has banking fallen so far behind with monthly fees and bad service? Welcome to Mega Bank. Please hold. Welcome to Casasa. Free checking with monthly rewards, refunds on ATM fees, and your choice of cash, music, and extra money to save. Upgrade to a free Casasa account today, exclusively at select community banking providers. Do you, Casasa? Ask for Casasa at Three Rivers Bank, Montana. Member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Hey, this is Dr. Chad with Glacier Grins Pediatric Dentistry, where a kid's smile grows big. As a father of three kids who grew up in the Flathead, I understand how each child can be different. We created a fun and relaxed atmosphere here at Glacier Grins and work hard to make sure each child has a positive experience. We are accepting new patients and have immediate openings available. We are located in Hunt Ranch Plaza between Walmart and Sportsman. Book your appointment online at GlacierGrins.com or call 890-6055. We look forward to meeting you and becoming your dental home. We are back. This is Focus on the Flathead. Hope you're having a great weekend. Ross Strauser, Reed Trontel, our special guest today is Dr. Chad from Glacier Grins Pediatric Dentistry, Hutton Ranch Plaza. And Reed, you had a question. Let's yes, start yes. off this segment with a question from Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Chad, for being here, by the sure. way. Sure. Thanks so, for having me. GlacierGrins.com, right? Yep. And then, little fact, we, we graduated 97, FHS. Shout out. That's right. It's amazing. I remember him <laughs> wrestling. I think he was way tougher than me. But I do want to see you put Dennis in a headlock later. Okay. That's okay. You got it. Okay. And maybe Ross. That'd be good. I have a five and a half year old, right? I also have a 16 month old. So when can a little baby come in? And then also just at five and a half, should it be two cleanings a year still? Can you just go into some of that? Yeah. Yeah. We, um, the American Pediatric Dentist, you know, Association encourages kids to come in by the time they're 12 months. They, they'd like a, a dental home to be established by the time they're one. Wow. And so what we, we actually just started um, seeing kids, you know, under 12, we'll do, an exam, we'll do a dental wellness check, an exam for free. So under, nice. under 12 months old, we'll, we'll do all that for free. Let mom and dad know if anything's going on. Talk to them about, you know, dental care and then... Um, and go from there, see if they have any needs. Yeah, I mean, under under 12 months, we like a dental home established. And then from there, you know, we want to see them about every six months. Typically, you know, if it's not six months, if we want to see them more frequently, there's a reason for that. If you start seeing little cavities starting, if you start seeing something that's high risk, we'll talk to mom and dad and say, hey, rather than six months, let's see them at every four months or three months. Some insurances will actually cover, you know, more frequent visits. Some will only do six months. But either way, we talk to mom or dad and let them know, hey, this is what we're seeing. This is a good idea to do this, this, and this. And then they can decide what they'd like to do. Sure. And so. So what is a dental home? I mean, I, I can kind of surmise what that is, but go, tell us what you yeah. what that is. No, a dental home is where, you, you know, a patient is established as, you know, established care. They have, um, you know, a, a continual access to the dentist. They can have questions answered. They can come in for an exams, uh, emergencies. They have a place established, a plan is in place, and they know where to go if something comes up. Interesting. Okay, so we, we were talking about your office a little bit. You've tried to make that uh, conducive to the kids and, uh-huh. uh, you know, toys, that kind of thing. And um, so what, what do you think the kids like most about coming to you? 
Well, between the the TV and the toys, it's it's hard to say. Um, I, you know, I do a lot of joking. So with the kids, it's nice because you don't ever have to be serious. There are some that come in to be scared. You know, they're scared and 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 the jokes don't go quite as far. But you know, we we feel like we have pretty good su- success in, in you know helping them come around to where they're leaving with a smile on their face. They've had a good time and realize it's not a scary place because. None of the things we need to do need to be scary. We can come at those from different angles. But, you know, we have TVs above every chair. We have TVs above the treatment rooms and the exam rooms. And we have toys they can hold on to while they're being, having their teeth checked. And we, we, try to, we try to have some fun. Okay, so uh, have you ever had a patient that just couldn't have fun and they're in there and so scared that you... Do you have any stories like that? Yeah, it does happen sometimes where you, you pull out all the stops, you do your best, <laughs> and it's just it's not working the out. jokes aren't cutting it's it? It's just not working out. <laughs> and, um, you know, there's a couple things we can do. Sometimes we'll talk to mom or dad and, and give them a couple choices. Either, you know, find out, are they having a bad day? Is it, is it just today and we want to bring, bring them back and try again? If it's not that, if that's not the case, sometimes we do struggle through a little exam. If I see something that, you know, if we really need to do some treatment, then we talk about treatment options. If they're not cooperative, one, you know, we can we can talk about general anesthesia where they go to sleep and we finish. We do the dentistry while they're sleeping. It's not traumatic for them. It protects their developing psych, psyche, and um, you know, all around, it gives us a good chance to do good dentistry. If it's one or two little things that we can monitor and make a plan for, then a lot of times we can wait and just watch those. And that's when we're talking about a little bit more, a little bit more frequent um, checkups where we're checking on it. You have a kid-centered staff as well. So can you uh, do a shout-out to some of the, the people working for you? Yeah, yeah. We have some great assistants, and our front-end lady is awesome. Um, Terry, we have her doing five or six things at once. Most of the time when she's doing that, we'll add a couple more things to her plate. She's our front-end lady. She's doing all the scheduling, insurance our assistants, they're awesome. I'm really lucky to have them as part of our, part of our team. We have um, Tiffany, who's been with us from day one. Um, she's just really bubbly, happy, positive. Barb, she's been with us, and she has years and years of pediatric experience. And then we have Brittany, who just joined us a few a couple months ago, and um, we're lucky to have her. Wow. Okay, well, thank you so much for being here. I mean, that was uh, a lot less painful than a root canal. <laughs> It was. And uh, I want to uh, congratulate you, first of all, well, for thanks. the brand new business. I mean, you've only been open since Thanksgiving. Yep. Uh, on Mondays, Thursdays, and Fridays up at the Hutton Ranch Plaza. In fact, 155 Hutton Ranch. And GlacierGrins.com is your website. How do we get a hold of you? Want to make an appointment? Want to schedule time? Sure. Yeah, our office phone number is 406-755-6055. You can look us up online on our website, and you can also make an appointment there. Or you can just stop by any time on Monday, Thursday, and Friday and catch us. Also, you are the co-sponsor of Focus on the Flathead. We thank you for that, that you're helping to make this show possible, as well as Three Rivers Bank of Montana. So we really thank you for for doing that and helping the show continue. Thank you. You've been listening to Focus on the Flathead. Have a great weekend. We've been also listening to Dr. Chad Catron from Glacier Grins Pediatric Dentistry right here on News Talk 880 KJJR and Focus on the Flathead.